Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching full tech so finally after one and a half month beast has came back we all are waiting for the new update of first and the most mature custom rom for the oneplus 6 and 60 and finally on the 5th of the april 2022 we got the new state cyberia 5.4 and 12.1 update thanks to the developer Denis pb blinoff and severalty bringing us the best of the custom rom world and keeping alive our hope of life for the old devices Cyberia is one and only original custom ROM, having the unique features like the Moto Dolby Atmos inbuilt, comes with the fully working OnePlus camera and OnePlus gallery application. The new build is so smooth, I can't avoid using my OnePlus 6 again and again without the reason. So in this video, I will show you the quick installation stability and the performance test, bugs and the features got removed, unique features of Cyberia and my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. So without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure There is small change in installation to avoid the conflict so download the full ROM zip file only No need to download the DM variety or the final zip Now go to the security setting and remove all the pins and the passwords Now boot device in a TWRP mode TWRP 3.6 is still recommended Links available in the video description now tap install and select the rom zip file, flash it, after flashing tap advance and tap install current TWRP. Now tap reboot and select the boot to the TWRP again. When you boots back to the TWRP tap wipe and select the format. If you guess the error in a red line then go to the TWRP setting, tap RMRF option and now format the data. It will get successful but wait, again boots back to the TWRP. Now repeat the format step, this is important otherwise you will get the boot loop between the TWRP and boot screen. That's it, now tap reboot to the system. Finally ROM boots with the signature boot animation of Siberia. Now we'll go straight to the about phone section because most of the things got changed here. So this is the Android 12.1 or also called as Android 12L build but still same Android version number and the history will be seen here. Now this is the only ROM which has the April 2022 security patch. Kernel version is 4.9.309. Here again this is the latest and most updated kernel we got and cook with the Proton Clang toolchain. This is the latest build of 5th April 2022. No ROM till the date have such new addition. What a comeback by Saveria. I'd shop you guys. As this is the Android 12L build, who gets the all the Android 12L features, I will not discuss them here again. You can check that in a right side card video. But I didn't found the Android 12L quick switch feature to change the last 5 use wallpaper after long pressing on the home screen. We also didn't get the recent panel tab for the web search and the images search. I think this is because ROM switched to quick step launcher instead of launcher. Also there is a small bug in a battery widget that we only get in Android 12.1. We need to add this widget from the widget section and under the setting services. But even after adding it, it's not showing any data. This is need to be fixed except this, all the Android 12L features are working. Now let's start the performance and the stability testing of the ROM. First is the Geekbench test. As I already told the ROM is super smooth, RAM management is too good, no heating issue, nothing else. When I took the Geekbench test, I got the 479 for the single core and for the multi core it is 1976. These results are not best, only Awaken ROM has beaten these cores, but still, these cores are decent. You will feel your phone is flying on CyberOS. SafetyNet test was already passed in the last video, still, I done the test and it's passing the SafetyNet again. So, no worry about use of banking apps in the ROM. Voidwine is the only main concern for the all the Android 12 ROMs because still we are getting the L3 level of security so we can't able to use any Netflix or streaming media applications at the full HD resolution. Next is the screen touch sensitivity or the input red test. As I done this test in the last two videos, every time I got the more dotted lines with the more gaps between the dots. Same thing happened here, so the ROM has the low touch input rate but still we don't feel any lag or the performance drop anywhere. Now we'll check what has been removed in the ROM. 
and what is buggy rom comes with the quick step launcher so no launcher launcher of the pixel launcher but i given the pixel launcher magic module in the video description you can use that to solve this in the system gestures we get the quick tap back gesture feature of the pixel phones in the last build that has been removed in this build inside the cyber setting and under the lock screen we get the media art cover option but it's not working not showing any media art even after playing the music this needs to be fixed okay google voice activation also not working in the rom this is the same issue with the all the custom rom but i have given the solution of magic module to overcome this you can check that video in a right side card but swipe gesture is working to access the google assistant rom is still not encrypted in this build to avoid the storage issues in a twrp but this is only risky when you lost our device as rom didn't have the pixel or the launcher launcher theme icons and the pixel wallpaper will not work in a wallpaper and style application but you can use the pixel launcher magic module to solve this issue so what are the unique feature that are not available in any of the custom rom though available it may be very few custom roms first is the fully working oneplus camera rom has the inbuilt oneplus camera and the, all the features like the video recording nightscape time lapse panorama mode are working especially i want to mention that the portrait shots and the slow motion videos are also working here these two things are buggy in other custom roms 4k 60 fps video recording is another feature that works here no other custom rom has this in a working condition another cool feature that this rom has the moto dolby atmos feature which is giving the awesome sound quality to the speakers and external media devices it enabled by the default i didn't found any way to disable it if you don't want to use that but actually you get the very loud crisps and the clear sound when you play the music you can check this in a speaker audio sample hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so rom gets the alert slider indicator when you use it similar to the oxynos roms i think this feature only available in evolution x rom supports the volume panel shift trim toggle under the cyberia setting system and under the buttons this setting is also only supported by few roms it's very handy feature because our device has the volume buttons on the left side rom has a blink flashlight for the incoming calls as my sim is not inserted i can't able to check calls so i didn't check it working or not smart pause is the another feature available in the sound setting which was dropped by the lots of the rom this will pause any media on the phone when the volume is muted and is get resume when the volume is restored pure black theme is the another feature available in the ui setting of the cyberia customization panel actually it's now implemented by the most of the roms this pure black theme will help to save some battery for our amoled panel of oneplus 6 and 60 Game space is another feature available actually it's available in the most of the rom but here it's somewhat advanced like who gets the dynamic mode to add automatically any gaming application in the gaming mode list automatic disabling of auto brightness if you want the notification even while playing the games it can be shown in a transparent mode if you want to see the incoming calls without the ring tone while the playing who gets the no ringing mode or we can automatically answer the calls using the same tab available in the game mode we can also disable the swipe gestures to avoid the accidental touches in the game we get the small overlay of the game mode when you play the games only thing is missing here is the game optimization and the youtube live which was available in the pixel experience all the major things like the wifi bluetooth nfc gps sound is working in the rom still we'll check the only major things like the face unlock and the fingerprint both are working without the issue and they both unlock the device instantly but here we didn't get the app lock using the face unlock and the fingerprint usb otg works but we need to first connect it and need to go in the settings under the system and under the device extras and then enable the usb otg toggle then only we can use the usb otg feature rom has the inbuilt ot updater and it has the local upgrade option and it's working fine This is all about the new Cyberia OS update. ROM is one of the oldest and the finest ROM till the date for the OnePlus 6 and 60. New update also brought the new features and the stability, but the ROM has the minor bugs which can be solvable after using the Magix modules. 
Performance and the stability of the ROM is unmatchable. Battery life is already tested. You can check that video in the right side card. It's really good. So overall the ROM comes as a clear win against all the ROM available till the date. But it's your choice what you like. So flash it if you want and enjoy. That's it guys for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you think I helped you, please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Take care, bye-bye.